Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beer Adventurer. And I'm Becky. And on this episode, we got the Yingling Lager. One of those beers that I went, how have I not reviewed this one yet? Um, That's Yingling? Yeah. I thought it was Yingling. Okay, I do have a little interesting story that I will tell as I pour said beer. Uh, I think a lot of people have had this. Um, we've actually got a couple of interesting stories. But I lived in Florida when this beer came out in Florida. They had just bought a brewery down in the like Tampa Bay area. And because other than that, you couldn't get it too far away from where they were. Uh, and they only brewed this specific beer, the Yingling Lager, for quite a while. And I would hear all these different pronunciations at the bar of what it, Yongalung, all these different things. And if I offered someone, hey, would you like a Yingling? I actually had a guy say, I've never really had an Asian beer that I enjoyed. But, and I said, it's actually, you know, the oldest brewery in America. Um, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of a brown, reddish beer. Here, let me pour you a little taste. And then the guy just started ordering it all the time. Uh, but now you can pretty much get this on the entire, like, east of the United States. I mean, we're in West Tennessee. I got it down in Florida. My uncle drinks this in North Carolina. This is one of my dad's favorite beers. My dad doesn't really drink beer that much anymore, um, but he likes it. I just realized while I was on vacation a few months ago, I went to a bar and they were like, well, what can I get you? And I said, can I get a Yingling? And they looked at me like I had three heads and I just, one plus one just equal two. It's East Coast, not West Coast. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. You were out west. I was out west. They looked at me weird. I was like, I ain't from around these parts. That's all I had to say. It's okay, honey. But you were, but you're not now. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, here's the thing. This one's going to be a little biased on our part. We've already had it. Yes. It's it's really a tasty beer. There's a lot going on. Um, it's actually become a pretty popular craft beer in our area because it's just a little bit more expensive than like Miller Lite and stuff like that. But it's, I don't know. If, if you're on this area, you, you pretty much know this. There's people either really like it or don't get into it. There's no discernible hop note. It's got a nice malty, little bit of toasted. Yes. Um, I would say it's probably one of the best beers. If you're a craft beer guy and you're trying to get a buddy into craft beer, this is one of the best beers to use to kind of because there, there is some other things going on, but it's not, you know, you don't start folks out on a double IPA. Especially not most of my friends that aren't hop heads. <clears throat> She's a malt girl. Porter's stouts. First, first thing you said IPA, all I thought was that devil dancer of a woman. <laughs> <laughs> um... Great story. We'll tell you sometime if we ever rate that. It has a slightly caramel smell. One thing I will say about the Yingling Lager. Smooth. I was going to say, it makes me feel like I'm home. Like, you know, like after a long day of work and you just kind of like pulled into the garage and you're just like, ah, I'm home. That's kind of how this. I had looked online. I was doing something for, uh, one of, uh, you know, you're you're on doing Wikipedia stuff, and apparently some areas near there, you just say I'll have a lager in a bar, and that's what you get. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Now I know there's a lot of other lagers that are lighter in color than this, but lager is like a way you make. It's like the way the beer is. Of like you have the lager yeast, and you know you don't want to know all that. Um, Unless you do, and then comment, and we'll go through all that in one day. But this one's a little redder than a lot of lagers are. Uh, but it is crazy smooth and easy to drink and relatively expensive. And Yes, I would have another. Yes, I would buy a six-pack. Yes, I have bought a six-pack. Yes, I have bought a six-pack. <laughs> I like that I can get these pint cans around here. And a lot of times... 
I was getting these size cans um, at the grocery stores for a buck. They're like 10 for 10. But most of the time, they didn't ring up like $1.50 if you didn't get 10 of them. Um, our local Kroger's in the area, they were 10 for 10 if you used your Kroger card. And so I'd buy like, you know, I was on the way home or something, and I'd go and grab two of these. Like killer shower beer. It was like a buck. Like, um, for a pint of beer? Shoot, how can you beat that? Right. I don't remember if it was last year or the year before, but I went into the grocery store and bought 10 of these to go float the river. Yeah, we did do that. <laughs> the lady was like, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, a yeah. little early, isn't it? Nah. Well, we're going to drink all day. Um, it's a really good beer. Well, let's go getting into it. But remember, if you're enjoying our video, hit that like button. Mash subscribe because I do this three times a week. I don't know if you can tell I've got new camera equipment. I've got new lighting. Same old dumb me. Uh, but I got better equipment. Um, who knows? Maybe we'll even put some different stuff on the wall. Maybe. We can talk about this beer down there in the comments. But I say we go ahead and uh, we've probably described it, you know, slightly malty, super easy to drink. Um, one of the better craft beers to start with. Did you dig it? Yes. I do. Will you have another? Yeah. Uh, probably within the week. Um, pick six worthy? Yeah. Now, in our market, you don't have to seek it out. You can find it damn near anywhere. If you're not in our market, I suggest you seek it out. It's pretty groovy. Um, I like a 1 to 10 rating system. I think that works well for us. On a scale of 1 to 10. It's like a 7. I want to make a side note. I see a lot of people start to lower their score on something that they can get readily. But to me, because of the history that I have with this beer, the fun that I've had with this beer... The low price point that I can get this beer at and how much I enjoy drinking this beer and that how many people in my circle enjoy drinking this beer. I actually rate this beer higher. I rate this beer an eight because it does so many things so well. Okay. I mean, I can get it cheap. Almost every one of my friends enjoys it. Family members enjoy it. I can find it at gas stations, bars, restaurants. It, it it does a thing. And it's still a craft beer. It's not even any of those beers that are faking craft. Which I'm sure y'all know some of those. Um, and I don't hate on the big macro beers. There's some... Man, if y'all watch these videos, you know I will pound some high lives. But some days ain't nothing going to do it for me. It's like a Yingling wire. So thank you, Yingling. I appreciate it. And so do most of my friends. Yes. So until your next beer adventure. Cheers.